Hi there, my name is Mia Shante, owner of Strong for Pole. I am super excited to talk to you today about finding your unique squat position. This is something I picked up from Dr. John Russin. He's an incredible and phenomenal uh, physical therapist and coach. And, uh, and what I've learned from him has drastically changed how our ladies squat and how they're able to do it pain-free and, uh, and get stronger along the way. So I wanna be able to share that with you. So there's a huge process to be able to figure out what this is, but to make it simple and so that you can do it on your own without a personal trainer um, or coach watching you, you wanna focus on two things, right? And the very first thing is maintaining a neutral spine. You may notice that uh, squatting right now is really uncomfortable. You, you can't get as low as everyone else. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on your knees. You aren't able to lift your chest. And, uh, and you just look awkward compared to all the other videos of, of squats you've seen and people next to you maybe in your fitness class. So one of the first things we wanna look at is which hand positioning works well for us. We're gonna have hands behind the head. This would mimic if you were doing a back squat. We're gonna have hands in front of us. This would be if you were doing a front squat. We're gonna have hands in front in this position as if you were doing a goblet squat. And then we're gonna have hands pushing out for a body weight. Starting with the top one, back squat, or hands behind your head, that's gonna be the hardest one. So if you aren't able to maintain a neutral spine, then keep, uh, keep regressing until you reach body weight. Eventually body weight should work. If it doesn't, then uh, shoot us an email and then we'll talk about the next steps for there. Because that's, that's a different video. But most of you guys, this will work. So back squat. What you're looking for is as low as you can go before your spine flexes. You see this rounding out here? So if you're coming here and you begin to round out, this hand position is not for you. And maybe something will change when we adjust your feet, but for now, you should be able to find something that feels comfortable on your shoulders and on your spine. The next one, on the front. Same thing, you wanna make sure you're seeing how low you can go before this curls under. And you're also you're in tune with your body. You wanna see what just feels better. And then the last one would be the body sway. With this one, you wanna create a little bit of tension here and use your hands as like a counterbalance to your butt. So as your butt is sitting back, which it should be, sitting back like you're sitting on a chair. If not, then we can direct you to our video on how to do a squat. Uh, you want to press out. Sit your butt back, push up through your heels. One of those three positions will work for you. The next part, after you've found what, how low you can go that feels comfortable to you while maintaining a neutral spine, uh, you wanna fix your feet. Some of us can do a squat here. Actually, mostly men can do a squat here. Many of us are gonna be hip width or wider, but not everyone. So you're here, you can turn your toes out, you can step wider, you can come back in and turn your toes out even wider, but at each of these positions, you just wanna see what works best for you, what allows you to get lower, what allows you to still maintain that neutral spine before this tucks under. So for example, like I said, most men do narrow hips. If I were to do a narrow squat, you're gonna immediately see that my spine begins to uh, flex way sooner than the other positions. Like, I can actually feel it, I'm fighting it, I'm fighting it, and there it goes, it's right there. Whereas, if I go a little bit wider, I can go a lot deeper. So that's it, you have your squats. You are now totally equipped to find a squat position that works well for you, that you can have a nice T-spine extension when you squat, so that you're not folded over, right? You wanna be up here. Notice I had to scoop my feet out, because I do, my legs are better wide. So you wanna be up here and lift it and not boobies facing the ground. If your nipples can point forward, then you're doing it right. If they're pointing downward, it can be one of two things. Either you just have really big boobs or you're doing them incorrectly. <laughs> Hopefully it's a big boob part. Uh, something else to notice is when you do squat, and this is just gonna be mostly weakness, but um, if your knees come in. You may have heard people say, when you do a squat, force your knees out. The only people that need to force their knees out are the ones whose knees come in. 
If your knees come in, you can feel that. You wanna activate these abductors and push them out. If you're already squatting like this, you have no reason to then try to press them out even further because then you're overcompensating. And that's it. You, have, you are totally equipped now to do a super perfect squat that is unique to your skeleton. And if a coach, a fitness trainer, personal trainer tells you to squat a certain way, toes pointing forward, uh, just tell them they're wrong and <laughs> do everything that you just learned today. It feels better. And that's ultimately, if fitness doesn't feel good, you're not gonna do it. So do something that feels good, be safe. This will protect your knees, it'll protect your low back. It'll protect actually your entire spine and have fun. If you have any more questions, just shoot us an email at info at strong, the number four, pole.com. Again, my name is Mia Shante, owner of Strong for Pole, and I was super excited to help you find your squat today.